getting married because you think it's the right age? Yes, yeah, maybe I've just grown up a bit. The quest for love isn't always easy. Finding a groom is worse than looking for a job. But what happens when love comes after marriage? In our tradition, girls never have romance before the marriage. And your family has the final say over who you marry. So before the marriage, will you allow the girl to talk with the boy? I had no idea who she was. I was ready to say no, but when I saw him, I said yes. Meet the Kiwis who are putting their tradition first and their parents in charge of choosing Mr or Mrs Wright. Seriously, I'm so nervous. Bachelor Ankit moved from India to study in New Zealand two years ago. Now 31, Ankit is ready to find his soulmate. In India, it would have been easier for me to find a wife. There, my parents would have supported me and I would have had support of my friends. They would look around in their own communities. But here in New Zealand, I don't have too many friends. Like, uh, I don't have my family here, so it's difficult. My wife, I think looks is something that everybody goes for, but, you know, marriage goes deeper than just that. But then, like my mother says, is, you know, you need to look at the other partner's face every morning for the rest of your life, so it's, you make sure that the person looks good, you know? <laughs> An aspiring writer, Ankit has dedicated the last five years to completing his first novel, a science fiction romance. Um, excuse me, uh, if you don't mind, can I have a quick... Okay, sorry. I'm basically, I'm a writer. I give my book to 10 random people every day. And I just wanted to ask you if you would want to read like a good book. I'm not going for fame. I'm not going to become like a star or something. I just want people to read it, you know? I am kind of different and I have rich imagination. So I do sometimes find myself just too engrossed in my creativity. It does become lonely. Ankit, like most Indian bachelors, is looking for more than just a wife for himself. The most important thing for my future wife or my life partner or my better half would be that she actually understands my family as much as she is uh, dedicated towards me. Uh, that would be probably my first, uh, first concern. With his parents in India, Ankit has turned to friend Kapal, who has first-hand experience with arranged marriage. I think it's about time for me, like I've reached that age in my life where I would want to settle down. Fair enough. Do you feel you're ready? I feel that I'm ready, yes. Yeah, and that's fine, yeah, that's what matters. I yeah, just and that, that, that's why I wanted to, you know, know more about arranged yeah, marriages yeah. from you. For me, it was more through the family. I agreed to meet with the girl. We had a catch-up for half an hour, I think. Half an hour? Before, yeah, before my gut feeling kicked yeah. in, just saying, yeah, let's do this. <laughs> oh. And that's it, done. Is it a bit awkward at first, or is it like... I think it's anything in life, I mean. It's similar to going for an interview. When you sit down there, <laughs> it's pretty much you feeling awkward. What exactly are the steps I should be taking if I find, to find like, I mean like... I guess have a chat with your parents as well, just find out. I guess once you're talking, you'll pick up some clues in terms of what yeah. they're looking for as well. So have you registered for any online matrimonial sites? Uh, I was, I wanted to take your opinion before I did that. Do you think that that's probably a good way to... No, I think, I think it's fine, obviously. Probably get a haircut to start with. Yeah. Take some nice photos, put it on the website. I think the first thing, yeah, that's probably the first logical step. Not really afraid to get into the arranged marriage, but then what if that person is, like, I get the gut feeling like you, but mm -hmm. then after after a few months down the line or after one year, I feel that that should not, would have not been the case. I'm really, really like, yeah. is it? I think, look, anything in life is not certain. Just <laughs> put everything out there, what do, you, what do you want? Aim for the moon and then you'll reach stars. <laughs> Over the course of this season, many different journeys to arranged marriage have been explored, some more traditional than others. Tonight, our married couples are coming together to share their experiences and discuss what married life is really like. Finding a groom is worse than looking for a job. You can't get to see the person more than twice or three times. It's kind of maximum. And then you have to give answer yes or no. Under pressure from her family to marry, Jenica agreed to travel to India to meet a selection of eligible bachelors picked by her parents. 
got a surprise for you. Okay, what is it? Uh, I got married. What? Yes, I Congratulations. did. Congratulations! Thank you. You got like married? Yes, I got like, married. Like married, married. Married, married. Woo! Oh, that's him. Oh, you guys look so nice together. I met 12 guys and out of them, he had like a nice, loud, confident voice that kind of affects me. It's like, okay, this guy's got something, so let's get to know him more. My family really liked her. Her upfront nature, it's like most of the Indian girls don't have that courage to say what they feel. I don't think so that it was really crazy to marry after five dates because on, I got to know him what I need to know. That he's responsible, good family, good study. That's it, like, I can deal with the rest. Yeah. And the rest is just trying to know each other for the rest of the life. Jenica and her husband, Deval, have now been married for 14 months. Well, we are the first one here. Are we in the right place? I think so. Well, let's see. Hello. <laughs> Next to arrive is Ranit and Nirmacha, whose love story took a different path, starting with a six-year Facebook friendship. Nirmacha and I started poking each other on Facebook. I don't know who started it, but it became a poke wall. I'd poke her, she'd poke me, we'd poke each other. And then it had gone up to like 4,000 pokes. We really got to know each other over that period. We went to dinner and I had a few drinks. One thing led to another and I proposed to her. You proposed on the first date? Yes, I proposed on the first date. Family privilege is important to both of us. I told my parents because we were getting another member of the family, another member of the team, so, so to speak, and the other team members need to have this say. There you go, someone's coming. Oh, hello. Hello. Hello, how are hello. you? Hello, how are you? Deval. Jenny. Nice Hi. to you. Deval. Mancha. How long have you guys been married now? We're almost married a year now. Wow. Oh, we've known each other for six years, but yeah. it, took, it took us six years to actually get a date. Our marriage done in like, you know... 20 days. 15, yeah, 20. 15, 20 days. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. I think it's pretty bold that some of the people that we're meeting tonight, they got married before actually getting the time to know each other. Uh, I think it's, it's a bold step. For me, knowing a person in and out, is a major factor because you have to spend your rest of the life with that guy, so get to know him before you get married. Arriving at the event is another couple ready to share their arranged marriage experience. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm excited to meet the new couples, looking at what their experience was. Raised in a traditional Sikh home, Govinda accepted that his family would choose his wife. So I always expected arranged marriage, like I won't get a chance to spend time with her, get to know her. And then I saw this girl. Hello. Hi. I met Garvinda at work and things were in a friend zone at that time. It was while in India meeting potential wives that Govinda decided it was workmate Radhika who he wanted to marry. I think the distance the distance was the thing, like, we started thinking that, yeah, we are missing each other. The couple then dated for two years before getting their family's approval to tie the knot. So it was love first, and yeah. then the family jumped in, so made yeah. it arranged marriage. Yeah, they are. There you go. There's two more coming. Hello. Hi. Do you guys want to take a seat? Yeah. 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 Uh, how did you guys met each other? It was at work. Oh, wow. Yeah. So how long you are dating each other? About two years, yeah. Oh, wow, it's a long time. Two years, yeah. And what about you guys? How did oh, you meet? Like, I met him in India, and within 15, 20 days, we got married. So our dating <laughs> time is only 15 days? Yeah. Yeah. In the first meeting, we never got to talk. Her his brother has just interviewed me like. Did yeah. it feel like a work interview? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's the biggest job interview of your life. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, I can't believe, like, I, I, like, I wouldn't see myself doing what you guys have done. Well, How did you put that decision on you? Like, okay, that's it. Like, I, we're well, getting married now. According to me, it's the best way to finding your partner. It's like, it's not like you have to 
we know them for a long time. For you guys, it's six years. So it's a long time you are knowing we were each friends. other. Oh, yeah. just, we were just friends. We were just but friends. You are yeah. knowing each other. Many of the cases where the relationship is a longer period, and after getting married, they are saying like, uh, you were not the same person that I'm uh, <laughs> expecting you. You, you. Yeah, you changed. You changed after the marriage. Yeah. Yes. You you grow as a couple. Yes, you find yes, new hobbies. Yes, you do yes. stuff. Yes. Yeah, I mean, yeah. When we had our first date, it was it was magic. If it's right, you'll know. If it's not, it's not, and you just move on. Is this a spark? It's it's a spark. It's just yeah. a spark. Realizing that igniting a spark on a first meeting takes more than just luck, Bachelor Ankit is giving his appearance an overhaul. My priority is to get married now. This is your asset. This is what you sell. We give you confidence. But the first thing is do some waxing. OK. I, I trust you. You trust me? Yeah. OK, good. You've never done this before, Ankit? Never. OK. It That's is. hot wax. We pull it out right from the root. Oh. I mean, why now? Why at 31? Oh. Are you getting Ouch. married because you think it's the right age? I guess, yeah. Maybe I've just grown up a bit. Are you looking for a bride overall in New Zealand or back home you? I mean, I would love to find a bride here in New Zealand. Why is that? I'm more comfortable with having like a, you know, Indian Kiwi girl or, or maybe someone who would, who would be more understanding towards the cultural and the traditional values. Ouch. Ow. OK, I'm good. Yeah. Let me take that main cave out, bro. Ow. Oh, thank God. <laughs> this feels so good. It is good. Oh. Looking for love the arranged way is a new experience for Ankit. OK, what are girls looking for in a guy? Overall, in general, someone who is loyal. What do you think girls are looking for in a guy nowadays? I guess girls are just looking for a nice guy, you know? I mean, someone who can really be stable with them, make them laugh and help them grow as an individual, I guess. <laughs> That's so cute. I see that you have a little bit of grey hair. I like that salt and pepper look. <laughs> does look good. Damn. Wow. I feel a lot more confident and, I guess, handsome, yeah. <laughs> I can't really, you know, recognise myself. It's, like, so good. Right. If this doesn't work, I don't know what will. Uh, the next step probably would be to give a call to my parents and I yeah, would be getting a uh, few pictures of myself, uploading them and getting on the websites and seeing where it goes, like, and getting, uh, getting arranged. Before proceeding any further, Ankit must gain his parents' support for the marriage quest. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to Skype my parents and get them on the case. Hi. Good morning. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> okay, so um, I've like I've gone through all this, you know, makeover and everything. Basically, I am looking to get arranged marriage. <laughs> okay, cool. Is it okay if I look for someone here in New Zealand at the same time you look there in India? Sure, sure, yes. Like, what girl will you prefer? Religious values and tradition. Hmm. 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 Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Okay. So you should have a place there you can see. Okay, cool. All right, bye, mom, bye, dad. Take care. Bye. I feel my journey has been exciting. You know, getting myself out there, getting a new makeover today. You know, speaking to my family. It just gives me like a positive vibration about this whole idea of arranged marriage. There's a change in confidence, and there's a change in perspective as well.
I'm more than happy to put myself out there. Who knows what's going to happen? Another two couples are arriving to join the event, both with very different arranged marriage experiences. I'm feeling pretty nervous about this situation, you know? I don't know how much should I reveal to them or how much are they going to reveal, you know, to us. Bhumika and Pratik met online, talking for three months before meeting once and then getting engaged, while Sinjana and Chanel didn't really talk at all. Cheers, guys. Cheers to arranged. <laughs> so tell me, Chanel, how did you guys meet? It was arranged uh -huh. in the traditional way. Oh, that's nice. And, um, I never got to take her out on a date or anything like that. The first time you guys met, was there a pressure on you to make a good first impression in front of him, in front of his family, who had yes. come to visit you? I was supposed to be quiet. My dad told me not to talk. Oh, okay. <laughs> not to talk that much, just stay there, sit there quietly, looking down. Uh -huh. Yeah, I wasn't even looking at him. First meeting with her wasn't alone. Um, it was with everyone there. My, my, my uncles, my aunties, my grandparents, and then her family there. First point of conversation was pr pretty intense. <laughs> it wasn't something like, hi, hello, how are you? Yeah, I'll marry you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know much about her. And, um, you know, we, we never went out on a date. The first time we only chat was just after our engagement, actually. Dad told me I can't say no if I don't like him but I kind of said yes. Kind of? <laughs> well, I was gonna say no, but I said yes. The, the spark came after the wedding. Um, yeah, and then that's when we got to know each other. We waited and made um, things special. Pratik and I, we got a chance to talk to each other for at least three months yeah. before yeah. we got before we met each other. Then our families met, and then a decision was made that yeah, we will go ahead with it. I asked my mum like, I do need to know about the girl. I need to find out who she is, what yeah. she, what's her likes, dislikes. But my father-in-law said no. That is so intense. Wow. How did you know that this is it? <laughs> I was just going with the flow. <laughs> oh, okay. And I trusted my family to And I trusted my family as well. It is very important to know somebody before you get hedged because you're planning on spending the rest of your life with somebody. Pratik and I met via a matrimonial website. He had sent me a request. I saw this profile that caught my attention. I saw this boy who was, you know, all shaved and nice and muscular looking guy and he's sitting on this horse and, you know, it just that profile picture just appealed me a lot. Oh my God, look at him. <laughs> it was just one day when I saw a gorgeous girl on the matrimonial side. Her name was Bhumika, who is fortunately sitting beside me now. And I sent her a request. So I was talking to him for three months before we physically met each other. So for me, I think I knew before I met him, I knew he could, he, he, he could be the one. Yeah, so this is the picture of the day that we went, met for the first time. And yeah, I think I fell in love with him instantly the day I met him. Yeah, I think we got the time that we wanted before getting married. Us physically and meeting each other face to face was just a formality. To so just, yeah, let's let's tick off all the boxes and let's get married now. On the matrimonial side, I would say that it was the best way for me because one, uh, with the matrimonial side, you get a lot of options. Oh, you want to try this, 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 <laughs> this, this. Okay. Uh, the other advantage is that you're not committed, you know, you are not bound to say yes or you're not bound to say no or anything. You can first try and get to know that person and then decide what you want to do. Do you want to go ahead or no? Uh, I think you should be 80% honest on your profile, which is online, yeah. The rest 20% you can discuss with the person that you want to meet in person, I would say, but yeah, I would say 80% is, is good enough. I think it is a positive place to find a life partner because at the end of the day, it is the platform that uh, you can actually meet some genuine people who are interested in getting married. Now ready to find a wife, Bachelor Ankit is taking his search online. So after speaking to my parents, this is the right time for me to go ahead and click some nice pictures and put myself out there on the matrimonial website. Whoa! Oh, you're you so different. Different. Good, good, man. You're so Hi. different. Wanting to make the best possible impression, Ankit has enrolled the help of his friends, Kapal and Jess. 
I think you should sit like up on there and we'll take some cool pictures. Oh, I love it, okay. Just relax, yeah. More casual. Whatever way you feel. Yeah. That's, that's better, yep. Great. Oh, I like that, that's nice. I am a very creative as an individual and this really represents what I, what, I, what kind of person that I am. Children. Like that? Crikey. Um, hands through your uh, hair, yeah. Keep doing it, nice, nice. Getting there. Okay. Yeah, on the sides as well a little bit. Is that okay? Maybe rub it in a bit more. Okay. <laughs> Is it still quiet? Yeah. Okay. Great, all right, let's take some photos now. Okay, that's great. Smile a bit. That's nice. Pretend the camera is your future wife. Or like, Whoa. Yeah. Love eyes. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's nice. Oh, that's nice, yeah. I think it'll be really nice if we find a girl who looks like Catherine Zeta Jones, but is like traditional, like Indian, like, you know, with Indian looks and stuff. Catherine Zeta Jones born in India, kind of. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> you know, she's got Indian heritage. Does she? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah. That's good, actually. That's Look really up at me. Whoa. That charm. Let's take a last photo and probably call it a day. Give me all the stuff and maybe sit in the corner. Don't you think it's kind of false advertising? She might uh, think it's your car. Yeah, I mean, if she does, then I would probably tell her honestly that it's not okay. mine. Okay. Are you going to tell them about your job, that you don't have a job? What are you going to tell them about that? Yeah, of course, I'm going to tell her, like, I'm, I'm a writer. I share my book with people and you know, I create, I, I own creatively. He's a nice guy. He's humble. He's quite down to earth. I think being away from his parents, that part is missing at the moment for him. And this is not easy, I guess, but I think he's got good chances. I'm excited. I just want to see what works out. I want to know where this will lead to. With millions of users around the world, matrimonial websites help narrow the search by providing very detailed personal information. Who do you work with? Mm, just private company, I guess. I mean, but at the moment, you are not working. Not actually. working. Self-employed. What do you do as self-employed? Uh, I can't count, but self-employed. Not, not working. working. And your annual income? <clears throat> uh, not applicable. Like, better to put what it's well, there. So if you want an honest wife, you have to be honest. But... I completely understand that it's going to be making it harder for me to find someone. Might be, yeah. But I just want to be honest. Yeah, next question. Um, yeah, I don't know what my height is. Solution for everything. Stand up, let's see. This is just getting too real right now. Don't be embarrassed. All right, let's see. The height does matter. Oh, it does. Somehow so, yeah. it's more important than your income, probably. <laughs> I guess it's more or less important to be, um, you know, just compatible. What if she's taller than you? It's OK, it's okay. Um, as long as she's not too tall, you know what I mean? Do you think that I'm average? I guess I'm between athletic and average. Should I push athletic? Because I'm not uh, that fat. You're not that athletic either. I have. I mean, I can be if I want to be. I'm going to put athletic, yeah. Really? Cool. OK. Yep. One last About day. myself. Whoa. So I'm just going to make it simple, quick and simple, like, uh, I'm a writer with a passion to create beautiful literature. From a girl's point of view, do you think that's the only thing she wants to know? I mean, I can say that I come from well, you know, yeah. well-educated family and stuff. Let's go a bit more into about you, be down to earth, those kind of things. I think that's yeah. Like well. I mean, I'm down to earth as well. Yeah. So. I think do add those as well. There's a quote, you know. I mean, I always have felt really close to. Okay. And I thought that this is a, you know, really um, good opportunity for me to put it out there. The quote says that the worst thing about life is waiting, but the best thing about life is having someone worth waiting for. Wow. No, I think that's very nice, actually. I think it's definitely. So good. Congrats, so... you're officially on the market now. <laughs> yeah. Let's see how the market is behaving. If the stocks are rising up or <laughs> going down. Wanting to better understand what type of wife he should be looking for, aspiring writer Ankit has decided to consult the stars. In our family, there's been a tradition of following the horoscope and stuff, and I really want to keep that tradition alive, not just for myself, but also for my mother. I think Scorpios are curious as well, so I'm curious. To help him cure his curiosity, Ankit has chosen well-renowned astrologer, Captain Shekhar. Basically, it's a sensitive horoscope, yours. Mm -hmm. Emotional, sensitive horoscope. In the context of marriage, four components. The first is Tana. 
Tana means body. Body, body. means conjugal happiness, physical love. Physical love. Okay. And in your case, if I may be candid enough to say, libido is on the higher side. Hi. <laughs> yeah, you know, you will have a rather erotic uh, imagination, yeah, and yeah. so you require to have a person who will reciprocate for fulfillment. Yeah. You're looking for a romantic partner, and that's what you need. So mind will also be very important. She will be buddhi jivi, somebody who works with the brains. She will be somebody ruled by Jupiter. Jupiter makes a person very mature and sensible. Motherhood sits very well with them. They make excellent Mother. parents. Mm. Uh, strict, strict to an extent, <laughs> but uh, very caring. Very caring. Then third is dhana. Dhana is equal to money. financial happiness. So money will keep on slipping out of your hand. Yeah. Will I be successful in being that writer, like doing something like that? You will be successful in phase, but you will be. And last is fertility. If you take a block of concrete and another block of concrete, the cement that holds it together are children. Well, this clearly indicates two children. So you should be basically looking for a girl. Uh, we are talking Indian moon signs. Libra, Sagittarius, and this is Aquarius. All these are the Rashis which tend to suit you. Knowing everything that has you know you have told me, is there any particular advice that you would like to give me? Now, how do you go about looking for her? In today's modern world, it's media, uh, matrimony.com, or whatever. You'll have to go looking for this one. My meeting with Mr. Shaker was actually quite fruitful. He gave me the motivation to be proactive, you know. And since I've not had much action on the matrimonial website. Uh, I guess it's time to take uh, things in my hand, you know, start messaging people, so use social network, get a bit of control in my, and get busy, you know? Yeah. So what do you think the other couple's going to think about us? Because our story is quite different. The final couple arriving to share their experience is Ashish and Ikta. You should look for some, like, bright colours. Yeah, that colour's nice. That's pretty. Ashish and Ekta both knew they would have arranged marriages, but never imagined it would be to each other. We were friends for nine years, best friends, that is, and then our parents decided because we get along so well with each other, um, it would be a good idea that we stay together f for life, I suppose, and get married. Most couples would not consider living together before an arranged marriage, but Ashish and Ekta's parents permitted the couple to buy a house together. Before the wedding, we are not supposed to sleep in together and stuff like that, so we have different rooms. That's my room, and that's Ekta's room, which is going to be our room after we come back from the wedding. I suppose because we lived together before we got married, there's a very high chance that other couples are going to judge us. I don't know, they might frown upon us, but we did it the right way. Like, our parents were happy, we were happy, and then I think that's what it made us anyway. Well, let's go and see them. Yeah, let's find out. So how long the relations of you guys? <laughs> Enlighten us. Yeah, it has been different for us, like, um, we know each other for like, nine years and after our engagement, we were living together for almost a year. Did your parents know that? Yeah. yeah. They knew it. Yeah. Before engagement. Yeah. Before engagement. Yeah. No, 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 after engagement. Oh, okay, okay, after engagement. But that, that's yeah. a whole new, like, we have to change with time. Yeah. Like, you know, with, even with traditional Indian yeah. weddings, yeah. like, yeah. I think it's changing and it's changing for good and it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a good thing. That's really cool that you guys stay together after you guys got engaged. Yeah. We are very happy that we knew each other and we don't have ugly surprises coming along. There's always surprises. There's always good and bad things that will you'll face in the marriage, of course. But we got to see them before the marriage and we had time to deal with them. We had time to actually work on them. What if you guys got engaged, stayed together, and thought, uh -oh, this is not happening, I'm not getting married to this guy? Oh my God, it would have been really awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Living in the same house before we got married made it a lot easier for us to get used to each other and come out of that friend zone. It's a blessing to know your partner um, before the marriage in a traditionally arranged marriage. Yeah. You guys were engaged, you didn't get to see each other. How did that work for you guys? 
Were you not curious even? Did you break the rules, like not tell your parents and see each other? No, we didn't, I didn't break any rules. Just tradition and it was quite important to us and uh, I value my family's beliefs. But was that hard for you, not to see each other before you actually get married? Like, though you're engaged, but We, not... we had Skype, so... <laughs> <laughs> so... So it means you can Skype, but you can't call or text each other, is it? No. She, ne she didn't have a phone. What? 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 She didn't have a phone. Seriously. Did you guys not wanted to know each other before you marry? It's like, who are you marrying? Like, Excuse, who's asking this question? <laughs> <laughs> but but if given a chance, do you think it would have worked better for you if you would have known each other for a bit before the wedding? Yes, would have definitely helped out. But um, it's it's a journey yeah. um, at the moment, um, and we get to learn learn about each, each other each and every day. You know, it, it must be so hard. Yeah, it was quite challenging for us. Yeah, but, um, I can... must but, be. You know, of course. Yeah. But at the end, uh, the longer you wait, the uh, sweeter the fruit is. Uh... <laughs> it's been three weeks since Ankit began his search for a wife, and he's already made progress. Tonight, he will have his first arranged date organised by his friend. Yeah, I'm going on a date. Carpal suggested someone, and yeah, I'm curious, you know, butterflies in the stomach. I have no idea what she's like. I'm just completely in the dark. Uh, I've been on dates before, you know, like uh, a couple of times, but no, never like this. The worst can happen is probably I might not like the person. The best thing, you never know, I might just end up meeting my future wife. Mr. Captain said that you would definitely enjoy a partnership with a person who is practical, but I don't want the person to be too practical. Like, I would rather want it to be like a good balance. I'm really nervous. I've never done this before. I am ready, you know? I hope she's kind of as into this as I am. I'm just hoping for the best. Ankit's date is 29-year-old Harsh Mean, a sales manager from Hamilton. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi, I'm good. Good, how are you? How? <laughs> nice to you. see you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> These are my for the first time I got a flower. Yeah. yeah thank you. So how was how was the how was your day? Oh good. Been busy. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. You know why we're here, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I know why we are here. What do, what do you think about it? It's good to meet people, right? And you never know when you have a spark. <laughs> so I was like, why not? I mean, what is your take on marriage? What is your perspective on marriage as such? Yeah, um, I really want to settle down and have kids and settle down. And my family is really much involved. And I did take my dad's permission if I can see you, and he said yes. Especially in arranged marriages, it's not about two people, it's about two families that come together. So, like, where do you work? I work in a cleaning company as sales and marketing specialist. So I'm a sales manager. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, I'm very career-oriented. That's why yeah. it's, it takes me time to find a man. <laughs> I'm a creative person, I'm a writer, and I've written a book. Oh, that's nice. What book have you written? What it is all about? A romantic book. Oh, like. okay. <laughs> um, but it's also like a science fiction. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I've got about 3,000 or 4,000 fans on Facebook. Oh, nice. But I'll be honest, I don't have a stable, stable job. Mm -hmm. So, like, I used to be like a technical writer. Mm -hmm. I left all of that to follow my dream. Just wanted to let you know that I have big aspirations around career. And my focus is a lot on career. What star sign are you? Like, which, which star sign do you... Virgo. Then you? Uh, I'm a Scorpio. Ooh, that's a scary one. <laughs> <laughs> they are very extreme. Scorpios? Yeah. That's if they right. like you, they will love you. If they don't like you, they will hate you like anything. So they go all time extreme. How many children do you feel like you want to have? <laughs> Two. Yeah, not more than that. I be honest, I went to an astrologer or, you know, a person who sees the horoscope to know the kind of wife that my future wife, what would be my future be, wife be like? He told me that someone who's career oriented or someone who's like, who's someone, a person like you is probably the right person for me. I thought about coming here just because it's 
doesn't matter if we you know if the yeah, thing happens, the thing happens but yeah. at the end of the day we will know each other and As become friends, and yeah. maybe new friend it's the start of new friendship exactly. not even a relationship but a friendship is yeah. if more important yeah. than anything else yeah. and life always gives you an opportunity like that meeting new people so it's always good to know each other yeah he's a nice person practical and no ego problem that's a good thing and family oriented that's what you want at the end of the day she definitely is really good looking and she's beautiful yeah i like i like the way she she's very um she's got nice eyes and i would definitely want to see her again just so because i would want to know her more maybe i'll see him again here yeah. and see how things goes and see how if he is uh, my kind of person or not it's really nice catching up with you yeah, same and here. meeting was, you for the first yeah, time yeah i was like so yeah i was yeah. like uh, nice to have a this beautiful little evening thank yeah, you yeah thank you thank you for your time thank you and let's see if we meet again thank you see ya hi hey mama hi. so i went on a date yesterday shin from you i i don't have a photo i don't have a photograph at least uh, we should meet meet her parents na no uh, like actually i don't think that she is the right person right now the reason i didn't like her is because like you know she i think she's too driven no it's okay but uh, you have to decide yourself abhi we cannot say anything to you <laughs> so what is your advice going to be where to from here keep looking yep be positive and enjoy yourself Yeah, yeah, I understand. Thank. We are very proud that you sent uh, you sent you to New Zealand, and New Zealand <laughs> is a great country. You will uh, find someone suitable there definitely. <laughs> Let's see how it where it goes. Nice, nice. I am also excited. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Chalo, okay. Thank you. Yeah, bye. Take care. Bye. Arranged marriages can happen very quickly, but finding the perfect bride takes time. So the biggest thing that I learned about myself is that I should be proactive and put some effort to put myself out there. Like I've been really thinking about that and getting myself in a gym and start working out and trying to make myself look good. Down but not out, Ankit's online profile has been getting some hits. On the matrimonial side, I got like two good responses, and I'm hoping to connect with that and see how it goes. One of the person's name is Vernika, uh, and she's like an interior designer. So Vernika kind of messaged me. She's like, you can contact me on my number. She gave me her direct number. Then there was like another girl. She's from uh, she's from Singapore, and she is uh, like an administrator in the school. Uh, hi, we went through your profile and we liked it. We would like to know you better. So I think I think it's probably going in the right direction, you know. I'm feeling really excited about the future. I'm having my parents supporting me and you know having this new look, being active, uh getting suggestions from the astrologer. I think it's great. I I feel there is a, a right time and I guess this is definitely the right time for me, but then I don't want to hurry things and you know I don't want to be in a hurry and you know I I I just want to put myself out there for the right person. <laughs> Every arranged marriage has a different story with couples getting to know each other in their own way but there is one thing that unites all their experiences. You know it's it's really really important for as being indians to keep our culture our tradition our values together so for me it's uh, it's giving you a strength to do the things by your rituals when you see the people around you are happy yeah. your family is happy your parents are happy then you feel that you are doing is something a good i think our traditions we abide by are really special because they're time tested and have been around for thousands of years and Well, there's sort of a blueprint to things that have good things that have happened in the past, and I think um, us going by them were a good plan. So, simple question: What's the definition of love for you, everyone? Oh, we start with Radhika. Oh. <laughs> Put her on the spot. 
I think it's just that support and the compromise you need to do in order to keep that love and marriage alive. That's what I feel. Yeah, we're a very good team together. I mean, I support him when he's down. He does the same to me. Yeah, totally agree with that. My definition of love, just before I leave, um, leave for work, she gives me a hug and I kiss him on the forehead. Have a good day and don't stress out too much. Nice. Marriage is a two-way game. You can't clap with one hand. You know, give just and take. give and take, go with the flow, enjoy every moment. For us, we talk. Our main priority is we talk and we look for situations, alternative, what should be done and what should not be done. You can't always come to agreement when you are arguing about something. When you are angry, you yeah. Can't think clearly. You can't think clearly what you want to tell, no, you so just arguing the, the thing we tell each other is reason. whenever we're angry, whatever we say, just, it's in the heat of the moment. Communication has definitely been the key in our relationship because if you didn't talk to each other, I mean, what's the point of being together? I've made a rule, well, we've made a rule that we don't go to bed angry. Our we talk it out. arguments last maximum three minutes and he comes looking for cookies. <laughs> Even after arguing with your partner, he still come to you and cuddle you at night. That's, that's that he respect you and you still in love with them. For me, the communication is the best thing in a relationship. Every single time, whenever we have arguments, we make sure we talk through that after the arguments and that's making our relation more stronger day by day. So I think that care, that compassion, for me is a good definition of love. I think it's just about giving and taking, that's all I think. It's just not about expecting every time, it's just about giving as well. I don't think anybody is adequately prepared for a thing called marriage. Be it a love marriage or an arranged marriage, two people getting hitched, staying together 24-7 is a big thing. Um, it takes a lot in the first couple of years to understand each other, to know each other's habits. It takes a lot of time, energy and patience. I think it's, it's a lot of trust. It's just a learning curve, I suppose. <laughs> for me, it's just little sacrifices that we make for each other that shows how much we love each other, I suppose. Love is when you can't live without each other. Oh, <laughs> perfect. Nobody can beat that. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody can beat that. All right, guys, I just need to raise a toast for everybody present here. Uh, we all have been married. Some have been married like for long, like me and my wife. You guys have been married recently. It's really nice to know your stories. It's really nice to know from different cultures you've come from, how you guys have met. So yeah, cheers to married life. Cheers! cheers.